I'm in my high school gym running as fast as I can towards the rim on a breakaway drive in my first basketball game of my first season of high school basketball. See, this was our first game and I was like in love with basketball at this point in my life. It was all I wanted to do and I was extremely excited to try and make a good first impression with this game and try and do my best to kind of just prove myself a little bit because I was like, I really wanted to do well in basketball. And one of my teammates had just stolen the ball from the other team, thrown it ahead to me and I was on like like a breakaway drive so for what I could see it was me the rim and the ball I just had to run as fast as I could and do a layup so I'm sprinting as fast as I can down the court I take my two steps right left and go up for a layup with my right hand and I'm confident I'm gonna make it I think easy easy first points and this is gonna be a good game but as I go up with that layup as I take the ball up with my hand someone comes flying in from behind me and that shot gets blocked into oblivion and the thing about this is when if you don't play basketball when you get blocked even if you're at like your home court where the crowd is normally cheering for you everyone just kind of goes like oh oh my god like and I was a small kid at that point I was like five foot two so I got blocked a lot and it always messed with my confidence so when it was like the first play of a certain game if I got blocked I was going to be kind of passive the rest of the game because I didn't like to get blocked it always made me feel very insecure and it always kind of humiliated me and I just felt really bad whenever it happened and the thing was in well this game wasn't actually the first one I'd had in that season we'd had a couple other ones in like tournaments and stuff but this was our first home game and the thing was since I got blocked like in a couple other games before and like played passive after I knew that I wanted to be aggressive again in this game and I was trying to go again in my mind it's like it's okay that you got blocked just take it and drive again and every time I caught the ball I just felt this resistance to take the ball and drive or try to do a move and I'd always just pass it off and I just like hide in the corner and just kind of shy away from the ball even though I knew I was like good enough to take it and go score I finished that game with two points and it was just like a little like floater when someone passed me the ball late in the game when nothing really mattered and we were already blowing the other team out and I remember this happened a lot and I never really could figure out why at the time because in practice and playing with my friends and in pickup and everything I was fine if I got blocked I would just forget about it and I'd be aggressive and that didn't happen in games I, at first I thought it was the pressure I thought it was like oh yeah there's people watching and that makes me nervous but after reflecting on it I know exactly why I wasn't able to be aggressive and I wasn't able to motivate myself to go and like be aggressive in those games and it was simply because whenever I practiced it was always with music anytime I went to the court by myself I always had my earphones in and I would listen to like heavy metal and rock music and a little bit of rap here and there and whenever I'd pr like practice at the gym with my dad we'd have music playing and normally in like pickup games and stuff you have music playing so there's this external source of motivation that I would always have and then when it came in games and yes there were, like I had more energy and more adrenaline I didn't have that crutch I didn't have that external source of motivation so naturally when I wanted to be aggressive it was a lot harder and there was a lot more resistance because I wasn't able to feed off the energy that the music was giving me and the thing about this was this at this point in my life I was kind of used to practicing basketball with music and I often found when I go to try and practice by myself I would be bored and I wouldn't want to play if I couldn't have access to it I'd always kind of had the same play playlist on like Apple Music where you just like buy the songs and eventually when I was like 14 15 I got Spotify but I just had the free version and where I'd go practice I'd go practice at like the school I went to there's a basketball court outside and everything and I would go there and practice I would always like try to log on to the school Wi-Fi and like steal the Wi-Fi because so I could use Spotify and listen to new songs and new playlists that I'd made because I still had the free version so you couldn't download anything and I would literally if I couldn't access the Wi-Fi that day I literally come home because I was so bored that I just couldn't play basketball ball without stimulation and it showed in my performance it showed in the games that I played and it really messed with me mentally and the thing about our modern day is most people they do things listening to music they study with music in they work out with music in and oftentimes we get we become accustomed to the stimulation that music provides us and it can have a detriment in our long run because as the quote kind of goes like you practice exactly how you perform or sorry no you perform exactly how you practice and if you're always practicing with this external thing and this external source of motivation when it comes time to perform and go do your thing without it it can be a lot harder and if you're so used to like having that motivation like I was it can detriment you in the long term and the thing is most people listen to music while they do other things in our modern day it's so like it's just it's kind of weird to see someone walking down or in like the subway or like on a bus without their ear pods in and like without like listening to music it's just kind of weird
weird. And so when you have to do a task without music, it can seem kind of hard. And a big one of this is like studying. I used to study with music and all the time, even if it was just like lo-fi beats. And then when I came, hold up. Wait a minute. Like when it came time for the exam, it was harder to actually like focus because I didn't have like that extra source of like dopamine, even though those things can kind of be good for your focus. Like if your class is loud or something, it still makes it a lot harder to like play or like focus on the task that you're doing when you don't have that extra source of stimulation. And there's a distinct thing that I remember and a distinct song that always used to mean so much to me when I play basketball in practice. And that song was No One Like You by the Scorpions. This song, like I used to love this song. This was the song that made me want to learn how to play guitar because I, I didn't... <laughs> A bit of a musician if you don't know if you haven't seen it any of my other videos but that song was like the song that i ins like ins aspired to be able to play when i was young and when i'd hear that guitar solo i just remember getting chills every time and i'd always play that song first when i'd go to the basketball court so i'd walk in i'd like get my ball and get my shoes on put my headphones in and then i'd always play that song first and i remember i listened to it so much and at one point that song became like annoying for me to listen to and I didn't even like it. I put that song on and I didn't feel how it used to make me feel. And I remember just feeling like, damn, cause I'd like, that song was like my favorite song for so long. And then when I listened to it so much on repeat on repeat, and it was just like that routine thing. And when that song wasn't enough stimulation for me anymore while I was playing basketball, it just kind of like messed with my soul a little bit because I love that song so much. And the thing is like, since we listen to music so often, and while we do other things, I think we really start to lose the fulfillment and the enjoyment that our favorite songs and music used to provide to us because in the past, like you literally had to sit down and listening to music was its own activity. You couldn't have the option until like 20, 30 years ago, maybe to actually like put headphones in and listen to music while you were doing something else. It just wasn't the way that things were. Even like when the times were like records were the main thing, you'd have to sit down in your room and put on your record to listen to your record. And now music has just become this thing where it's like yeah it's just a normal part of our lives that we don't associate with being its own thing and i think one that causes us to lose a lot of joy from the activities that we do and also causes us to lose a lot of joy for music and music is one of the most important things to me in my life from playing like making money like gigging and um learning songs and writing my own music from everything that i do with music it's like it's kind of sacred to me so when i lost like that feeling and i lost a lot of that enjoyment for my favorite songs and for basketball it really caused me to kind of like take a step back and think like man like i'm genuinely like losing the enjoyment that i get from these things and like i said before it kind of just messed with my soul and i think a lot of people are kind of going through that right now and getting to that point where they're like man like i don't even enjoy listening to music anymore and i don't even enjoy my it, like favorite activities anymore it just kind of becomes monotonous so how do we break this cycle of losing the enjoyment that music and our favorite activities gives to us the response is simple it's like simple in principle but it's hard to apply it's not easy to do but all you have to do is simply separate listening to music into its own activity. When you're going to the court to play basketball, go to the court to play basketball. And when it's time to listen to music, listen to music, separate these tasks into separate things so that listening to music is no longer it's just this thing that you do while you do something else. Practice being present in what you do. This is how you enjoy life because in with modern technology and everything, we're often so distracted and so stimulated that we can't put our focus on anything 100% anymore. It's like, it's just kind of known that my generation has messed up attention spans. And it's simply because we're used to stimulation while we do other things like watching a Netflix video while we try and study. Like, how are you supposed to understand what's going on in the show and study at the same time? Like if that was in the past, that'd be like crazy. The idea of that to like older generations, but that's just normal. That's just like become part of our life. And it's a problem for a lot of people because we become worse at the things that we do when we try to do multiple things at once you can't really multitask and improve it happened for me with basketball and it also like caused me to lose enjoyment for music yes it's more stimulating while you do it but in the long term it's a lose-lose so separate the things into their own separate activities and you will one enjoy them far more and two improve a lot faster at the things that you want
want to do because your brain can only put so much power on one thing like your brain physically isn't meant to do two tasks at once never mind do them well you're not really listening to music while you're trying to do other th another thing and you're not really present while you're playing basketball if you're listening to music so separate them into separate things and you will enjoy them far more because music addiction and just listening to music all the time it may feel good right now and it may be like oh yeah this is the thing like it just everyone does it it's normal it's fine but when you do it for long enough and you get to that point where you don't enjoy your favorite song anymore you're gonna kind of take that step back like i did and be like man damn like this this kind of sucks i don't even like my favorite song anymore just because i've listened to it far too much and i'm not even like enjoying basketball anymore and there's all these different things that you're going to run into and it's just a matter of time before it happens so i hope this helps you to actually be conscious and take a step back before you get to that point and realize that music is an amazing i'm not saying music is a bad thing music is an absolutely amazing thing i love it so much but there's a right way to consume it and this happens with anything in life when you're going to do something do it a hundred percent I'm going to repeat that one more time. Whatever you're going to do, do it 100% and be as present as you can with that activity and you will enjoy it far more and improve. It'll just be such a more enjoyable experience. Whether it's playing basketball, whether it's watching a movie, whether it's listening to music, be there to do that thing instead of being distracted in your other things. And just as a little special thing and just for me, because as I said, that song, No One Knows by the Scorpions, or sorry, No One Like You by the Scorpions, I just realized the other day when I was thinking about about this video I never actually took the time to learn that song and that solo and since I've never really like showed my kind of like musical side on this channel I've done a couple covers and stuff but I want to start doing this regularly so this is a new thing I'm gonna try just like just showing you a little bit of my musical side at the end of these videos so for my enjoyment and yours here's no one like you by the scorpions Guys, uh, ready to do this, huh? Why are you standing? Okay, what are you yeah, doing? I, sit down. Oh, I'm part of the band. No, you are the bass people. player. You I always your sit. Parts for you you, you sit. So real bass. Bass. not a real hey, bass. I played. I, at least you're, you're in the shot. Me. I'm like the drummer. Come on. You're sit little, down, man. Please. Time. This is the last. Thank time. you. Okay. Thank Wait you. You're getting Thank fired you. after this. That's what's happening. Yeah. Easy. It's easy when you, you sit down. Bang. It's easy. It'll be fun, huh? Yeah. Bullshit.